Hello again. I've had a lot of you ask how to make uh, Christmas ornaments and how to put words inside them. So I'm just going to do a really, really fast video to show you how to do that. It won't be pretty, but you'll get the idea. This is Illustrator. I don't use other programs, so if you do, you'll need to make your own connections there. Uh, but here's how I would make a really quick ornament with a word in it. So first I would start and get the ellipse tool and hold shift down and make myself a circle. Obviously that's way too big, but right now we're not gonna worry about that either. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just make it a black fill. And then I'm gonna make a, another circle inside it. Uh, that's the, uh, I'm just gonna take this one right over here and drag it down here to uh, clone or duplicate. So now I've got two. Then I'll hold shift and uh, option down and I'm gonna make it a little smaller so that I can make a ring. See this, like that. So now I've got one circle inside another. If I select them both and then go down to Pathfinder down here to minus front, I'll end up with just this ring. I don't know if that's the size I want, but you get the idea. And then I'm gonna add the little uh, ring up on top. You can make that a couple of different ways. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the rectangle tool. I'll add a rectangle up here. Again, I'm not worried about the size right now. Um, and I'll go ahead and round uh, the corners on it a little bit. Oh, should have done those together, but whatever. So I got that. Then I can select all this again, go down to Pathfinder and Unite. So once again, I've got it together. And the last thing I'll do on that part is I'll add a, uh, a hole up here. So do, do that by holding uh, the Shift button. And um, I'll go ahead and kind of get it centered up a little bit wherever I want it. Find where you want it, select it all, go down here again to Pathfinder and minus front. There you got your hole. You might want to work on that a little better to get it better size ratio, but you got the idea. Again, we're going as fast as we can here. Go to the type tool and I'm going to type out something like hello, which would be uh, perfect for a uh, an ornament. Obviously not. Uh, I'll grab some... I don't know, some script like Mentari, which I use all the time. We'll do this. And uh, let's say we just want to connect it right like that. So there's two steps we need to do. The first one is to convert this to outlines. So I'm going to right click or secondary click on it and click Create Outlines. And now it's outlined, so it's no longer a text. It's actually a shape. But you see how it's not connected here yet? We're going to solve that by going down here to, again, Pathfinder, and click Unite. And you see how it connected all of those right there? And the last thing we're gonna do is select everything again, and go down to Pathfinder and Unite once again, and now it's all connected. So now when you bring this over to the Glowforge, you can, uh, it'll just cut all this out just like this. Hope that helps. I will see you guys in the next one.